I'm Eric Bibb, born and raised in New York. I'm a bluesy troubadour. I sing and play guitar. My musical foundation is African-American folk music, blues, spirituals, work songs. In the Yazoo heat, Papa tried his whole life. Tales from a, a Blues Brother is a one-man theater show, and um, it's a way of uh, telling parts of my own personal story, but in the larger context of how I grew up, where, what was going on as I was growing up, the things that uh, influenced me and gave me basically my mission in life. On Sunday, March 7th, 1965, civil rights leaders organized a march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama, demanding the universal right to vote. As you can see, the peaceful marchers were met with vicious brutality. Me and my wife went all over town. Everywhere we went, people turned us down in a bourgeois town. A policeman came up to me and he said, uh, what are you doing? I, got the I said, uh, I'm waiting for my girlfriend. She should be coming on the next train or so. He said, move on. He said, I have a right to be here. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm just waiting for my friend. He said, I said, move on. And he proceeded to shove me and push me and manhandle me up the stairs, out of the station and onto the street. There were, of course, no mobile phones. I couldn't call my girlfriend to tell her that I wouldn't be there where I said I'd be. I was devastated, angry, confused, scared. Rosewood, Rosewood. If you were a Negro, as we were called then, you were treated as a second-class citizen. I got a home in Tennessee. Yeah. That's the place I want to be. Yeah. Don't you rock em, daddy oh. Don't you rock em, daddy oh. Oh, don't you rock em, daddy oh. Don't you rock em, daddy oh. Oh, yeah. We should go on tour. <laughs> There are a lot more people looking like me out on the streets in Stockholm these days. There's a growing number of people, it seems, who are not thrilled about that. That's worrying. And you think, oh, it couldn't happen here. But uh, remember, I told you I was troubled deeply when I couldn't get a taxi in New York City. I bet you right now, somebody on Hornsgarten is maybe not looking just like me, maybe looks like what you think of when you think of a Muslim or a Syrian refugee. Bet you that guy's maybe having a hard time flagging down a cab. So I'm just saying, we need to be careful. That money should have lasted me, kept me going for quite a while. But no. <laughs> so I quickly put on my, my robe over my pajamas and I scooted downstairs. And there in my living room, right in the middle of the throng of people, was Bob Dylan. I went right up to him, said, Hi, I'm Eric. I play guitar, too. <laughs> These are hard times. Music has a way of helping us through hard times of great change. These are hard times of great change. Don't ever let nobody Drag your spirit down I'm driven My driving wheel Is this vision that I have 
in my head, in my heart, in my soul, of a new world coming through. It's real for me. I see signs of it blooming everywhere I go. There's hope, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah! the rich, walk with the poor, and learn from everyone, that's what love is for, don't ever let nobody drag your spirit down.